Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem A1 from 2024 Putnam Math Competition. So here is the problem. Determine all positive integers n for which there exists positive integers a, b, c satisfying 2 a to the power of n plus 3 b to the power of n is equal to 4 c to the power of n. Okay, so as usual I'm going to walk you through the process by which I obtain this solution. So naturally, if I want to find all positive integers n satisfying something, I'm going to start looking at small cases and see if I can find a pattern, and then hopefully we can generalize that to every n. So let's just start from small values of n. For example, if you start from the smallest value, which is n equals 1, we get this Diophantine equation 2a plus 3b equals 4c so pretty much all we need is we need this to be a multiple of 4 so how do we make this a multiple of 4 so that's pretty straightforward we can take a and b to be 4 and if we factor a 4 from here we get c equals 5 so we do have a solution for n equals 1 let's look at n equals 2 we get 2a squared plus 3b squared equals 4c squared and it is natural to take both sides mod 2 because we notice that this is even this is also even and that means this must also be even so this means we can write then b as 2 times b1 and that gives us 2a squared plus 3 times 2b1 squared plus uh, equals 4c squared Dividing off by 2, we get a squared plus 6b1 squared equals 2c squared. Again, both of these two are even, which means a must be even. So we can write down a as 2a1, and subbing it, we get 4a1 squared plus 6b1 squared equals 2c squared. Dividing by 2, we get 2a1 squared plus 3 b1 squared equals c squared. Okay, so we can't really go further than this, but it does remind me of a method called infinite descent, which might be something useful to keep in mind. Remember that if you have a solution that is a positive solution a, b, c, then you can always divide off by the GCD. So if you have a solution, so if 2a squared plus 3b squared is equal to 4c squared, then 2a over the gcd squared plus 3b over the gcd squared equals 4c over the gcd squared is also going to be true, which means we have another solution that gcd of a over d, b over d, and c over d is in fact 1. Which means, if I start from a solution that GCD isn't 1, I can get a solution that GCD is smaller than that. So I'm going to first, uh, that the solution is a smaller. A plus B plus C becomes a smaller. So if D isn't 1, then I can go from ABC to a solution that is a smaller. Okay. So this method is called um, infinite descent. If we can um, if we can create a solution that is smaller from every solution, then we, that means that we don't have any solution. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to show that C is even. Well, let's take both sides mod 4 maybe and then see what happens. But that should be, shouldn't be a problem because when you take both sides mod 4, this guy could be 0 or 1, this guy would be 3 or 0, and this guy would be 2 or 0. And of course, 2 plus 3 is 1 mod 4. So if we take that mod 4, this is not going to give us anything. But I do notice that I haven't really used the fact that there's a 3 here. So let's take both sides of this mod 3. So mod 3, we get 2a1 is congruent to c squared, mod 3. Now, what are the numbers mod 3? Well, uh, 2a1 squared. Well, we have c squared is either 0 or 1. 2a1 squared is either 0 or 2. So when, does, when do these two, when are these two equal? 
mod 3. So that means A and C, A1 and C, are multiples of 3. But once we have this, because 2A1 squared plus 3B1 squared is equal to C squared, that means that 3 also divides uh, B1. Why? Because the intermediate step would be this, because 9 divides 2A1 squared and 9 divides C squared, which means 9 divides uh, 3B1 squared, which means 3 divides B1. So that means I was able to uh, find a solution that GCD of ABC isn't 1. In fact, I could have done this one to the original equation as well. So um, instead of doing it with, to this reduced equation here, I could have done it to the original equation as well. So what does that mean? For n equals 2, here is a different way of looking at it. So assume there is a solution, A, B, C, by dividing both sides by the GCD, by D squared, where D is the GCD. I can assume that GCD is 1. We may assume that GCD of A, B, and C is 1. Now, look at the original equation. 2A squared plus 3B squared is equal to 4C squared. Taking both sides mod 3, we get 2A squared is congruent to C squared mod 3. Now, what are the possible values of c squared mod 3? c squared mod 3 is 0 or 1 because c is 0 or plus minus 1 mod 3. And 2a squared mod 3 is 0 or 2. Now, when are these two equal? Well, these two could be equal if uh, or congruent, rather, if A and C are both divisible by 3. So that means C and A are both congruent to 0 mod 3. Now, if you look at the equation, we have 3B squared. That is equal to 4C squared minus 2A squared. This is divisible by 9. But that tells us that B squared is divisible by 3, which means 3 divides B. Now, look at what happens. C, A, and B are all divisible by 3. So that means GCD of A, B, C is not 1, which is a contradiction. So this contradiction shows that there is no positive solution for N equals 2. Okay, so this method doesn't seem to be uh, generalized to any n because we heavily use the fact that c squared is 2 and 2a two, two squared is, uh, sorry, c squared is 1 and 2a squared is 2 mod 3. And if you change the power, those congruences are going to fail. So let's look at n equals 3 and see what happens. We have 2a to the third 3b cubed equals 4c cubed. So let's take uh, both sides mod 2 again. This is even. This is even. And I may assume again, as we did before, that GCD of ABC is 1. So that means B, B must be even. So let's write down B as 2B1. Plug it in. We get 2A cubed equals, uh, or rather, plus 3 times 8, 24B1 cubed is equal to 4c cubed. Divide by 2, we get a cubed plus 12b1 cubed is equal to 2c cubed. Both of these are even, 
which means a must be even so we can write down a as two times another integer plug it in we get 8 a1 cubed plus 12 b1 cubed equals 2c cubed divide again by 2 we get 4a1 cubed plus 6b1 cubed is equal to c cubed this is even so that means c is even and that means a b and c are all even so that tells us that 2 divides gcd of a b c which is a contradiction um, and that means there are no solutions no positive solutions for n equals 3. now if you um, if you look at this method that we employed you could see that there is a very similar way that we can employ to uh, to do this uh, process for any n greater than or equal to 3. So let's uh, go ahead and do this one for any n greater than or equal to 3. So suppose n is greater than or equal to 3 and 2 a to the power of n plus 3 b to the power of n is equal to 4 c to the power of n for some a, b, c that are positive by so similar to what we did before by dividing both sides by gcd of a b c to the power of n we may assume that the gcd is in fact one And now we're going to look at the uh, mod 2 of both sides. So what we have is 3b to the power of n is equal to 4c to the power of n minus 2a to the power of n. This is even. So that means b is even for some b1 that is positive integer. We take this one, plug it in. We get... 3 times 2 to the power of n, b1 to the power of n is equal to 4, c to the power of n minus 2, a to the power of n. Divide both sides by a, by 2, we get 3 times 2 to the power of n minus 1, b1 to the power of n equals 2, c to the power of n minus a to the power of n. Both of these are even because n is greater than or equal to 3, so n minus 1 is at least 2, so that's even, that's even, so that means a is also even 2 divides uh, a to the power of n which means a is 2 times a1 we take this one plug it back into the equation we get 3 times 2 to the power of n minus 1 b1 to the power of n is equal to 2 c to the power of n minus 2 to the power of n a1 to the power of n divide off by 2 we get 3 times 2 to the power of n minus 2 b1 to the power of n equals um, c to the power of n minus 2 to the power of n minus 1 a1 to the power of n now again n is at least 3 so this is even and this is also even this is where I'm using the fact that n is at least 3 uh, up to here n greater than or equal to 2 would have worked but at this point n minus 3 is at least um, n minus 2 is at least 1 so both of those are even so that means 2 divides c to the power of n, and that means 2 divides c. So now let's see what we had. We obtained that 2 divides c, 2 divides a, and also uh, 2 divides b at the beginning, which means GCD of a, b, c is not 1. And that is a contradiction. So what does that mean? It means there are no solutions for any n greater than or equal to 2. So there's no solution for n greater than or equal to 2. We dealt with n equals 2 separately, and we dealt with n greater than or equal to 3 um, in the last uh, case. So the answer is, in fact, n equals 1. And that brings me to the end of this video. I will see you in the next video.